Hi Capricorn, welcome to your singles reading. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who've been here before, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. Take what resonates and don't worry about the rest. Please subscribe. Now with the first part of this reading, Capricorn, we're going to take a look at what's coming in or what you can expect. But this is also, or can be, for those of you who are just focused on yourself right now, you know, and just loving being single, but we'll see what the cards say. So let's get started. Single Capricorn. Capricorns out there. What's coming in? What can they expect? Single Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, starting off with the Six of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man here. Okay. Hmm. I feel like a lot of you have been dealing with someone who is really shady. This could be an ex, someone around you. Capricorn that is taking a lot from you but it's like there's no there's no balance either in this past connection or with this person so it's almost like it's like you guys are waiting for something new you're waiting to figure out what it is you need to do where it is you want to go here how you want to move forward here when it comes to love because there's been so so much selfishness here when it comes to this person. Yeah, it's like a lack of kindness here. So it's almost like you're waiting, waiting to see, well, when are things going to be different? What is it that I need to see? What is it I need to do now? It's like you're in this place of this place of really needing to think deep contemplation, right? Looking for something new, letting things flow, letting things happen with being single. But it's all about getting your thoughts together here. I feel like a lot of you are like, well, when is this going to happen? When is this, when am I going to meet someone who is kind, someone who is generous, not just selfish and not mean and nasty, right? I feel like this is, you're at a point in your mind where it's like, you're like, when is this happening? When is this coming in? And this time of being single and this time of things just staying right where it is, or you staying right where you are being single Capricorn. I feel like it's going to really enlighten you about a lot of things, what you're truly waiting for, what you really are looking for, and especially thinking differently when it comes to, um, you know, really nasty energy uh, from the past or people that you've had around you and really looking at what's being given to you, why it's being given to you. It's like you're going to be seeing uh, differently when it comes to a certain person here while waiting for your goodness for, you know, goodness to you, someone being generous to you. I feel like you guys are in a lot of deep thought about um, this person and everything that happened here and just trying to really you know, collect your thoughts here. Now, also Capricorn, this just kind of came to me here. A lot of you, when it comes to love, what you have coming in, you do have someone who is going to be kind and generous here. And I feel like this person is going to be really competitive when it comes to you and wanting to get to know you or be with you here. But I feel like you're going to make this person kind of wait 
You know, it's like <laughs> there's there's needing a need for patience here, a need for patience, Capricorn, until you really feel comfortable and feel like you, you know, you have the new fresh mindset that you need with everything that you've been through. But there is an energy of someone here that is going to want to come in and be kind and be very giving to you and give you something here. They might be very um, competitive and you know, really wanting to be with you so bad that they are gonna wait. They have no other choice but to wait because that's just the situation that you're in right now. You know, It's not trying to force things, but just allowing, letting it flow. It's just, look, you're on that energy Capricorn of things need to just flow. So if you really want to be with me, you'll wait. <laughs> yeah, but expect someone who's really going to be try to be kind and give you gifts. Let's get a little more about the person coming towards you. Single Capricorn. Okay, we have the two of cups. So this is someone who wants a partnership with you. I feel like Capricorn, you are really focused on someone who can really bring in that balance that you need in a relationship. And until you get that, you're waiting or you're making other people wait. More about the person coming towards Capricorn. Single Capricorn. All right, so we have the Two of Cups here. We have the Fool. We have the Eight of Wands and we have the Seven of Wands. Yeah. So, Capricorn, this person that is coming towards you definitely is going to want a relationship with you, but they're going to be really kind, try to be really giving for a lot of you out there and really want to be fun and exciting. They're going to want to do a lot of things with you just, you know, in that moment of well, why, not, why don't we go here? It's just that kind of random, <laughs> really kind of eccentric, fun personality. There's going to be a lot of communication also Capricorn coming in. I feel like a lot of you are going to be communicating about, listen, things need, I need time. <laughs> if you don't have patience, bye-bye, not going to work. You're not letting anyone really force you, force anything on you. You know, you're prepared. You are prepared to deal with whatever it is you need to deal with. And you know how to deal with certain people accordingly now because, you know, you've been in that hanged man position. So there's there's this awakening. There's this awareness. There's this new, you know, thought process that's happening with you. And you're taking your time. You are taking your time with it. And that is the right thing to do for yourself and always protect yourself with anyone in any situation. So, yeah, you're definitely really just keeping some important um uh, protection barriers up Capricorn and just that's what it's really about Capricorn is just protecting yourself and look people are either on your program of patience and waiting or or not you know but I feel like this is something that is going to be really communicated here strongly a need for patience because when you want someone to come in you're wanting them to come in and it be worth it your efforts your work communication talking having fun when it comes to a relationship for you Capricorn it's about the stability it's about stability and moving forward and until you know for sure what you need to know about this person coming towards you it's going to be like okay like uh, listen, I've been down this road, but the important thing here also Capricorn is to know that whoever is coming at you, whatever is coming at you, you will still be standing strong because you do have a new outlook. You have a new way of looking at things. And again, you are taking your time and going with the flow here. But yeah, this person does want a relationship with you. This person's going to bring some fun in, some excitement in. So let's get a little more here. You could be dealing with an Aquarius Capricorn. More about the person coming towards Capricorn. Let's see what we get here. <clears throat> I 
All right, let's see what we have here. Knight of Pentacles, the world, the sun, and the five of pentacles. Okay. So Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Leo, Aquarius, okay, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, again, Leo. Stability, really important here, Capricorn. You have a lot here about waiting for something that is worth your efforts and not letting people just rush up on you and rush you, but wanting to communicate about where you're at mentally and what you're looking for in a relationship. There is a change coming here. There's a shift coming here, moving towards the next step in this connection. I do see you and this person moving forward. I just think you're going to kind of keep them at a kind of like a distance to where you can comfortably get to know them and learn what you need to learn during that communication process, the first beginning stages of this connection. But I, I do see it moving forward here with the sun energy. I think this person, Capricorn, is really going to be there and help you. I think this person is going to be, when you have tough times, this person is going to let you know that they're there. I don't feel this is abandonment. This isn't feeling like things are going to get to that point where someone feels left out. I feel like this is when you guys are moving forward and you're focusing on that next step together, right? Wanting to just continue on together and focusing on happiness and stability. This person's going to let you know, listen, like I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. And it might take some time because again, still you are focused on something stable. You don't want any BS. You want something, someone that you can depend on. And that takes time. It takes effort. So I think this person is really going to show you that they can put in the effort that you want to see when things happen around you, Capricorn, they're going to be like, well, what do you need? Do you need help? I'm here. You know what I'm saying? That, that, you know, helping hand to where you don't feel like you're alone to where you don't feel again, like all your efforts have either gone to waste or it is pointless because we've had, uh, we have that energy here in the beginning of your, your reading Capricorn of someone who is very selfish. Okay. Mean, nasty, wanting to take, 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 wanting to win, win, win. And they just don't care. They only care about themselves. Well, this is why it's important to take time. And I definitely see you taking the time here, but this relationship will move forward. And I feel like this person is going to let you know, no matter what happens, how you're feeling. Okay. When things get hard and it feels like, okay, things are really going downhill here. I have so much going on and it's really hurtful and stressful. This person isn't going to want you to feel alone. This person isn't going to want you to feel alone. This person is want, going to want to be a person you can depend on as well as exciting and as well as wanting something serious with you. But I feel like that's the positive change. Having someone who is dependable, who will be there and lend a helping hand if it's needed. Just even offer it. Yeah. So let's see what brings you two together. Single Capricorn. Brings them together. Okay. Capricorn. We have the Magician. We have the Moon. We have the two of wands and we have the chariot. Okay. So what brings you two together? Seeing that this is a connection where people are going to be focused. You're going to be focused. They're going to be focused and fully aware of what is needed and what is wanted in this connection and going to make it happen. There's energy here of being determined and using the willpower to, uh, to make the magic happen, baby. It's all about, listen, if this is what you want, okay, show it and prove, show up. Right? Showing you that 
it's possible, showing you that I'm going to put in work and be there. Pass the fears. Pass any triggers or fears we have of things that might come up, things that we don't know when it comes to dealing with someone else, Capricorn. I feel like this person is really going to show up, put in work, put in effort, and be a person you can depend on. And that kind of helps with that, that moon energy. It kind of helps things be seen. It, you know, things aren't just creeping up when things are getting crazy and chaotic. You know, it can bring down that guard a little bit once you start to see and know what you need to know. But it's all about looking deeper. It's all about looking deeper into this connection and feeling comfortable, Virgo, right? Using that mind, using that intelligence and intellect with that hangman energy of how you're looking at relationships now, putting the attention into what's worth waiting for you. I feel like this person's going to do that. I feel like you guys are going to make a lot of plans together. Once you guys start really planning and enjoying each other and moving forward and digging in deep with things that you need to know, Virgo, things that they're going to want to know. Why do I keep saying Virgo? So sorry, you guys. Capricorn. <laughs> but yeah, you guys are going to want to plan. Making so many plans for the future together. Forward movement. It's on and on and on with the two of you. Making things happen. Absolutely making things happen here. But again, Capricorn, what is really important, what I'm seeing here in these cards, for you, the most important thing is someone who is going to be dependable and show you stability. That, I feel like, is your main focus. That safe place, right? That person you feel is going to protect you and be there for you. And you can have fun with this person. Yes, you can enjoy each other, be together. All right, you guys have that two of cups here. Have that partnership. But you are clearly wanting to make sure that this is what it is going to be. Before making plans and jumping into the unknown. But once you get on that level with this person, Capricorn, you two are going to move forward. I think you're going to feel more confident and more comfortable as well with this person. When the guard comes down a little bit, when they start to show you that they want to move forward with you and they're going to be there to help you if you need help and just offer it. All right. That stable person who's just making the right moves, taking the time, because I do see this person taking time with you and I see you all about patient and, and patience and not rushing uh, Capricorn, definitely not rushing this connection here when this person comes towards you, when you meet this person. But I do see you guys moving forward here and making plans for the future. So it's all about timing. It's all about timing and it's all about showing up, putting effort in, having that person that is worth the wait. And I feel like you are Capricorn. You are worth the wait and you know it. And this might be what you're thinking now. This might be your new outlook, taking more time, when it comes to relationships and who you allow into your circle to, you know, show up and date and take time, uh, you know, moving forward, definitely in the right way, Capricorn. All right. So oh, there we go. Let's get some physical features, Capricorn's person. Okay. So we have someone bald. Someone has a shaved head, bald head. Someone is tall. Someone has freckles. Anything else? Okay. And we have brown eyes. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get any more signs here. Anything else that would like to come out? What's your person? Oops. a lot there okay so we have family or past connection we have taurus dependable patient there's that pa oh my goodness you guys dependable patient persistent and stable stable dependable did it say all of those things? It did. It said dependable, patient, and stable. I trip myself out with tarot and oracles all the time. It's really amazing. But yeah, this is someone that is going to show up, put in the work, and let you know, all right, let's do it. Hard work. You need to see effort. 
Let's do it. It takes time, but all right, let's do it. Moving forward. Moving forward, Capricorn. Uh, we have monkey here, Chinese zodiac, quick-witted, charming, lucky, adaptable, bright, versatile, lively, curious, smart. There's that full energy here. There's them bringing that fun into your life and excitement and just doing little things together. We also have Aries, enthusiastic, witty, and confident, and honest. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can get some personality traits and anything else. For Capricorn. So we have someone here that is really dominant in relationships, dislikes confrontation, might not be as romantic as other people, insensitive. Capricorn. We have for Capricorn. Okay. So we have dislikes, routines, inconsiderate, unfocused, argumentative. We have considerate, supportive, unique, people skills, possible interest, Capricorn, are family, friendship, health, spirituality, financial security. Coaching, chef, buyer. There's that stability here. I feel like you guys are looking for, uh, again, a relationship that is stable and has what it needs to flourish, to grow. Okay, we have a water sign here. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, of course. Okay, so, all right. All right, Capricorn, let's do this. Single Capricorn's message. What does Capricorn need to hear? Single Capricorn. Okay, there we have it. We have challenges, Capricorn. All true soul connections involve challenges that can be overcome together. So it's important to know, again, with that five of pentacles, this person knows that there's going to be challenges in relationships and in life, but they want you to know they are there. Whether you want to accept the help or not, they still are going to offer it. They want you to know that they are a person that you can depend on and they will be there. And understand that the challenges are only going to make you guys closer. We have the chariot here and that chariot is all about overcoming obstacles. You guys are going to overcome obstacles together. There's that stability, but you have to build it and it takes time. Yes, it takes patience, but that's what's happening here. So I feel like this is really going to bring that, that two of cups, that soulmate energy, that you two really coming together. These challenges are what is really going to make you guys stronger. All right. And really focus on the future plans here that you guys want to make with each other. All right, Capricorn, let's get a timing card for you. We have for Capricorn when this person is coming towards Capricorn. When is this person coming towards Capricorn? More than a year. That might be why you guys had that seven of pentacles. It feels like you're just waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting. And when is it going to show up? When is it going to happen? But when it does happen, Capricorn, this person is going to show out. This person is going to be there in the ways that you need them to be there. And things like that are worth waiting for. To have that kind of person you can depend on. That kind of stable relationship. It's worth waiting for. All right.
What is the healing message for the single Capricorns at this time? What is the healing message for single Capricorns? What do they need to hear at this time? have here wow we have unexpected so your healing message capricorn is to know no matter how long you feel right now you've been waiting for love you've been waiting for certain things to happen you've been at this stalemate you've been at this period where not a lot of things are happening it's almost like expect the unexpected things are always going to happen when you don't expect it Sometimes things are just so like they're just, you know, you've been waiting for a while or things just aren't happening for a very long time. But then you never know what's right around that corner. You never know who you're going to run into. You never know when that person is coming in. So expect the unexpected. Universe works and that wheel turns out and needs to turns and what comes out comes out when it's meant to come out. So a lot of unexpected things are going to happen for you when it comes to uh, what you're doing now, when it comes to love, the person coming towards you. Look at that opening. It's like a castle or palace in that opening. The little girl, she's walking down like a spiral staircase. It's almost like a maze. Sometimes we're just going, 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 going. We're going down that spiral staircase and it feels like a maze and we're waiting, waiting, waiting. But then boom opportunity opens a door opens a person comes in you didn't expect it so something happening that's going to be unexpected capricorn okay so capricorn that's what i have for you thank you so much for being here you guys don't forget to subscribe comment down below hit that thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time bye